gigantic cylindrical spaceship of unknown origin was discovered hurtling toward our sun. The International Space Agency decided to mount an expedition to explore this enigmatic messenger from another world. Twelve carefully selected astronauts trained for years for this rendezvous with the alien ship named Rama. Two days ago, after the crew had completed its initial sortie into the dark and hollow interior of Rama, astronaut commander Valerie Borzov mysteriously died following a routine medical procedure. You are to replace Borzov. The mission commander, Dr. David Brown, will give you specific assignments, but your general mission is straightforward. Explore Rama. Discover as much as you can about the origin and purpose of this intruder from the stars. Hi, bonjour. I am Nicole Desjardins, the medical officer. I hope that your shuttle ride over was uneventful. For all of us here, I would like to welcome you to Rama and let you know that we really need your help. This is the hub site. Your arm computer should be located in your locker over there. As I'm sure you know, it is our most critical piece of equipment. You'll need it to read all the data cubes and the crew member vid mail. Speaking of vid mail, the hub site computer against that wall contains introductory vid mail for you from each of the other crew members. They're all eager to say hello. I guess that covers the critical things. It's really dark down here inside this hollow cylinder, which makes the work a little bit more difficult, but we're all getting used to it. Meanwhile, everyone else is busy working inside Rama, installing the remaining infrastructure and discovering new and fascinating artifacts. Right now, I'm going to take the cable car back down to my work site. Why don't you just stay here for a while and look around? You can check out the hub site and your equipment, and then come and join us. Au revoir. Yereshai, welcome to Rama. We are all delighted to have you join us on this incredible expedition. I am Dr. Shigeru Takagishi, one of the two scientists on the Rama mission. When I was a boy, I looked up at the night sky filled with stars and wondered how many different kinds of life and intelligence might exist in our vast universe. I decided then, as a child, to spend my life learning about the physical and biochemical processes that somehow produced human beings out of a nebular cloud of dust. As you can imagine, my being selected for the Newton team was a thrill and honor beyond my wildest dreams. I am eagerly looking forward to working with you. If I can help you in any way, please call. Welcome aboard, astronaut. ISA officials told me that you've been thoroughly briefed on the goals and progress of our expedition. Good. Because none of us has time to explain a lot of background information. Now, what we need as soon as possible is a contributing team member. We have many more tasks to accomplish than we have resources. In a minute. I'm Dr. David Brown, of course, commander of the Newton mission. Until the untimely death of Valerie Bortsov, I was chief Newton scientist. Now, what I want from you is competence and initiative. People with our experience and training shouldn't need molly coddling or to be told to do something more than once. If you have any routine questions about what's going on, talk to Nicole Desjardins. She's the chief medical officer and has the most free time of the crew.
Hello, and welcome to the team. As I'm sure you know, I'm Francesca Sabatini, vid journalist for the Newton Project. I file the Daily Rama report for the IBC News Feed, plus cover our major developments live. To say that the people on Earth are fascinated by what we are discovering here would be the understatement of the century. They're also very interested in the human aspects of the expedition. I've already done personal profiles on all your astronaut colleagues, so as soon as you're acclimated, I want to chat with you about your background, your personal aspirations, anything of human interest. I hope you have a really good tragedy or scandal in your past. The more exotic, the better. Believe me, my broadcasts are desperate for fresh human interest right now. Unlike some of our colleagues, I happen to like company in the evenings after the work is done. And while I keep my vices in check, I'll never pass up a good party. I also love chess, bridge, backgammon, all the competitive games. Come see me when you feel like it. The more I know about you, the better I can do my job. I am Otto Heilman, Chief Security Officer of the Newton Project. My job is to assess whether the enormous Rama spaceship represents a threat either to the Newton crew or to Earth. In carrying out my orders, I have the assistance of two agents from the International Bureau of Investigation, Yamanaka and Tabori. However, it is unlikely that your paths will cross because your assignments are so different. Please, I ask you to remember one thing. We are engaged in what may be an exceedingly dangerous undertaking. Whoever created this awesome alien ship could be extremely hostile and malevolent. Heilman out. I'm Michael O'Toole, Irishman from Boston, father of four great kids, proud grandfather of nine. With my free time, I study religion, physics, encryption, and number theory. Now, I want you to hear this from me before the other astronauts tell you. As a number theorist, I have a favorite numerical sequence. Did you know that if you take the number 41 and add first two, then four, then six, to obtain the sequence of 41, 43, 47, 53, etc., that the first 40 numbers are all primes and no other similar sequence of that length exists. <laughs> ha! I can hear my wife Kathleen inside my head telling me that rambling on about number sequences is no way to make a fit introduction. I want to give you a warm welcome, tell you that among my other duties, I'm codemaster for the crew, the cable car, for example, is activated by the numbers 4143. And then I would love to chat with you when you have more time. Goodbye for now. Well, well, well. So we have a true parvenu joining us in the middle of our mission. Well, that's all right with me. But I must say, I'm actually impressed the ISA sent someone so quickly. Heaven knows we can certainly use your help. And... Discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> Discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Oh, I'm Richard Wakefield. I'm the chief tech engineer on this team. My job is to know how every piece of engineering equipment works. My passion is Shakespeare, as well as electronics, which suggests I should now introduce you to Falstaff here, one of my best creations. I have more of these guys in my menagerie, and I've even created one for you. Jones, Mistress Quickly must be calling! <laughs> the bard wrote many great words, my friend, and some might even have been designed with you in mind. There is a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Like it or not, you are going to be famous. And if you can do something even a little outstanding, you'll probably never need to work again. But it won't be easy. So, to keep you from screwing up, 
I offer you the talents of the mischievous Puck, who's hiding in my locker here, and whom I will now summon for you. Puck, you can come out now. Puck! Hello. I'm Reggie Wilson, the writer and journalist representing all the print media on this crazy expedition. Welcome aboard. Though, after what happened to Commander Bortsoff, I think I should wish you luck. I have to tell you, this trip hasn't turned out the way I expected. Most of our key questions remain unanswered. For instance, we still have no idea who built the giant Rama spaceship or what the hell it's doing here. If you ask Dr. Brown, our scientific genius, He'll pontificate for hours, but he can't answer the question. Well, I need to interview you in the next day or two, if possible. Everyone on Earth is familiar with the rest of the crew, thanks to our ambitious colleague, Ms. Sabatini, who I'm sure is already beginning to hound you. Nicely, of course. Anyway, save some fresh copy for me, too. And listen, give me a call if you want to share a beer or two. It could be pretty damn lonely up here. Hello. I am astronaut Arina Turgenev from Kiev in the Ukraine. A career service officer, I have flown and completed 14 space missions, including a two-year stint on much station on Mars. I want you to know, nothing in my experience has even remotely prepared me for this project. Frankly, I have the feeling there is something sinister about this great dark hollow cylinder from nowhere. I felt this even before Valery Borzov died, and now my feelings have intensified. However, this is not the proper introduction for a new member of our crew. What I wanted to do is to welcome you, and to give you a few words of advice. I must tell you, be wary of both Dr. Brown and reporter Sabatini. You should know they have their own agendas, different from the rest of us. So. If you want any other words of wisdom, please call me. Hello again. At least I hope it's again. Dr. Brown has told me that I am to be your official greeter, but I decided to record this vid mail just in case. As I'm sure you know, I'm the chief medical officer of the crew. That means that I am both doctor and pharmacist. So if you ever need aspirin or any other medication, simply give me a call. I realize that it is difficult to join the team in the middle of a mission, especially one like this with so many extraordinary individuals. Now, I don't want to be pushy, but if I can help in any way, or if you want to talk about anything, just let me know. As you perform your exploration tasks in Rama, I'll drop by from time to time to chat and to see how you're doing. Of course, if you have any health problems, please call immediately. Even if I'm not in the vicinity, I can at least guide you to the med packs that we've stashed about. Well. Take care and see you soon.